Hey everyone, welcome back to Windows Fixer, the place where we fix the stuff that nobody else explains properly. So, I got this comment recently, and maybe you've seen the same issue. Hey guys, I came to Discord through a video on YouTube. I'm having trouble connecting to a 5M server here in Brazil. The error started recently. If I reinstall the game, it works once, but as soon as the server restarts, the error comes back. I don't know what else to do. All right, so let's break that down. What's actually happening here is that after the 5M server restarts, something goes out of sync between your PC and the server. Sometimes it's your local 5M cache, other times it's your DNS or IP info, both of which affect how your game communicates with that server. That's why reinstalling the game temporarily works, but as soon as the server restarts, the issue pops right back. Basically, your system holds on to old cache or DNS data and the server doesn't accept that outdated info anymore. So let's fix both sides, the 5M files and the network settings in a clean and simple way. Let's start with the 5M cache. First, close 5M completely. Then go to this location. C, users, your name, app data, local 5M, 5M.app.data cache. Here, you'll see folders like browser, DB, servers, subprocess, and one called game. Delete everything in this folder except the one named game. That folder should be left untouched. This clears the local junk that might be blocking communication with the server. Now, let's reset your network and DNS settings. Open command prompt as administrator. Just right-click on CMD and choose run as admin. Then type these commands one by one. IP config release, IP config renew, IP config flush DNS. Now go and restart your Wi-Fi router. Once your internet comes back on, run this final command. IP config register DNS. This refreshes your DNS and IP entries and gets rid of anything that might be blocking server connections. Also, always run 5M as administrator and make sure your GTA 5 is fully updated through Steam or Rockstar. <laughs> it's funny how those little things can still cause big issues, right? Now, if the issue only happens after a specific server restarts, there's a good chance the problem is on their end, not yours. Maybe the server isn't clearing its own cache or it's failing to resync player data after restart. So yeah, don't hesitate to let the admin know. It could help everyone else on the server too. All right, if this video helped you out, drop a like and leave a comment. And if you're still stuck, describe your issue below and I'll help you out personally. Thanks for watching. This is Windows Fixer signing out. Catch you in the next one.